हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बट्टा फास्ट मैं हूँ अहमद नकवी मैं साथ उस्मान समीन और आज एक बड़ा अहम और अफसरदा दिन है पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट में मगर मेरे और उस्मान के लिए काफ़ी लकी है क्योंकि हमने पहले से ही अनाउंस किया हुआ था कि हम अपने पेट्रियन क्यू एन एपिसोड करेंगे और फिर मैंने जब ये डेट अनाउंस की थी तो मैंने एक्चुअली चेक नहीं किया था टेस्ट मैच का स्केजुल एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड क्योंकि पहले मुझे लग रहा था यार ये एपिसोड अजीब होगा टेस्ट भी करो ये भी करो बट ये इतने इतने हालात ख़राब हैं कि टेस्ट पे जितनी कम बात की जाए मेरे लिए तो वही बेहतर है तो उस्मान मेरा सवाल आपसे ये है और शायद इसके बाद हम आगे ही चल दें हैव वी हेट रॉक बॉटम यार वी से मुराद आई थिंक अगर तुम हमारी बात भी कर रहे हो नहीं तो हमारी अगर बात कर रहे हो तो वी हैव भी बात नहीं कर रहा पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट सॉरी वी नहीं कहना चाहिए था बिल्कुल नहीं मैं कह रहा था वी एज इन मी एंड यू वी वी हैव हिट रॉक बॉटम बिकॉज हम लोग इतने डिसऑर्गेनाइज्ड और फजूल लोग हैं कि हम टेस्ट मैच के चौथे दिन पे चौथी शाम पे हम लोग एक पॉडकास्ट रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं जिस टेस्ट मैच के बारे में हमें एक्चुअली अगर हम सही ट्रू मानो ट्रू ट्रू मानो में <laughs> सही मानो में पॉडकास्ट पॉडकास्ट होते तो हम हर दिन एक पॉडकास्ट कर रहे होते अब आधे आधे घंटे के क्विक फायर क्विक फायर जस्ट लाइक अशान मसूद इनिंग्स क्विक फायर कर रहे होते हर दिन और आज इंस्टेड वी आर डूइंग एन एपिसोड दिस इज नॉट ऑन द टेस्ट मैच ऑन द फोर्थ डे ऑफ दिस एपिक टेस्ट मैच जिसमें पाकिस्तान ने कैन आई जस्ट रिमाइंड व्यूअर्स आप जब भी ये देखेंगे शायद आप उस वक्त तक भूल चुके होंगे शायद आपने अपने दिमागों से वो वाइप कर दिया होगा कि पाकिस्तान ने इस टेस्ट में आठ रन कंसीड करे एक इनिंग्स में आठ सौ तेईस राइट एट ये तो यानी इस, इसके तो कोई यानी आई डोंट नो के एरिया को जोक्स भी बन सकते हैं या नहीं लाइक ए ट्वेंटी थ्री इतने रन है कि मेरे बच्चों का स्लीपिंग आवर लेट हो गया यानी दे दे शुड बी इन बेड बाय दिस टाइम इतने ज्यादा रन बने लाइक आई डोंट नो पीपल अंडरस्टैंड पेरेंट्स साढ़े आठ बजे सो जाना चाहिए बच्चों को आई फील uh, मेरे मेरे पास बचपन में एंड मेरा बचपन मतलब इंटरनेट से बहुत सालों पहले का जमाना वन ऑफ माई प्राइज पोजेशन रीडी इन टू <laughs> memorizing facts or knowing facts and that's why I used to love like Guinness book of records because you're mm-hmm. just like going through stuff and you know it's just kind of exposing ki acha duniya mein is cheez ka bhi record ban raha hai wo to jab mere paas jab bhi kitab aati thi to kuch hi issue cheeze aisi thi jo mujhe pata thi jin mein se ek cricket thi aur dusra ke main pakistan se tha to I'll always try and find something pakistan related in there and i remember that i think the 93 or 92 edition and this record held for a while uh sabse biggest score in a domestic game in a first class game and it was like mm. di khan versus railways i think oh, wow. it was 950 something 950 something yeah right Innings or <laughs> yeah or wo i think like what was one of the few it was railways things. versus dera ghazi khan i think और ये क्या कहते हैं कि मतलब बहुत उन कम चीजों आई थिंक पाकिस्तान का और कुछ मे बी आलम चन्ना इन देर बट दर रूडी नथिंग एल्स इन लाइक रेकर्ड इन देर बट ये था और लाइक इट वॉज एक तो वही के रेलवे वर्सेज डेरा गाजी खान इन इट सेल्फ tells you so much about the bizarreness of Pakistan domestic cricket but it was also like ke yaar ye itni ek crazy mismatch in this waise hi discredited domestic system ke andar hi ek aisa record ban sakta hai right it tells you something about the nature of records ke it's not necessarily the best sometimes it is like the fastest person in the 100 meters the record is best or whatever but sometimes you know these records are not really telling you something about like what's desirable like इंग्लैंड ने आठ सौ तेईस रन बना दिए ये दिस इज समथिंग रियली बैड इन जस्ट द होल लाइक यू नो इज जस्ट इज बैड दट दिस एग्जिस्टिस फैक्ट एग्जिस्ट इट्स लाइक मैं नंबर्स का सोच रहा था एट एट ट्वेंटी थ्री दस एट ट्वेंटी थ्री इज लाइक इट्स मिड लॉन्ग जम्प मैं लॉन्ग जम्प You know, eight ninety two world record is eight point nine two. So eight point two three is like a mid-ish long jump. 
और मैं और सोचा आई कुंट थिंक ऑफ अदर स्टफ यार आई जस्ट कैप थिंकिंग ऑफ एट ट्वेंटी थ्री पी एम एट ट्वेंटी थ्री पी एम थिंक यार ये Eight twenty three is like what uh, early years of uh, the birth of Islam. Like, <laughs> like it's it's that kind of score. Or you know, you you ask if we hit rock bottom, have has Pakistan cricket hit rock bottom? Rather, I don't know, yar. I don't know if there is a bottom. If there's further to go, there could be that there's further to go. Did you see? Actually, I have to tell you that first Bangladesh series. Sorry, Bangladesh series. After that, we have not this. predict kiya tha ke or i think after the first test maybe ke we haven't really hit rock bottom yeah after the first yeah. test and the second test is like acha theek hai you know kafi bura hai but wohi tha ke abhi ye ye wali series aani thi to pata tha ke halat aur kharab ho jayenge aur abhi har cheez jo har aapki khami na us jo main ek nazar aati hai jo log baat kar rahe hain uske bare mein i think glassy ne bhi baat kari hai aapki jo fitness levels hai na they are on a different level below like what the top teams uh, take for granted as their fitness levels you know jo root jaise kitne 34 saal ka hai shayad he has been on the field for all but i think six or seven balls of this test match he's been on the field us wo end tak wo singles or doubles bhag raha tha is ground pe uh, is garmi mein harry brook ne aaj khud interview mein kaha hai ki usne jo pichle saal time off liya tha because his i think his grandmother had passed away he took some time off he was very close to her he took some time off but in that time off he worked on his fitness aur usne aaj kaha ki aaj jo maine innings kheli hai wo agar main 1.5 saal pehle khel raha tha to main runs bana leta main 150 magar 150 tak pahunchta aur fir uske baad main thak ke kahin pe slog karke out ho jata ye meri fitness thi nahi jo maine aaj 300 jitne bhi banaye and you know you see then you see the difference you if you remember shan kaisa out was the pehli innings mein dersho bana ke not a great way to get out uh, uh, uh abdullah shafiq kaisa out was a really lame dismissal like chasing one really wide and they both had been cramping up in the in the lead ups to their dismissals then you look at the bowlers you look at the the just the enduring strength and fitness of guys like chris wokes uh, even gus atkinson who's new brighton cars who's on debut उसकी इतनी स्ट्रेंथ है वो इस पिच को वो इतनी जोर से मार रहा है बॉल के साथ कि ही इज गेटिंग सम काइंड व्हाट एवर लिटिल टाइनी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ हेल्प देयर इज फॉर अ बॉलर टू गेट सम सीम मूवमेंट सम बाउंस व्हाटएवर वो कर रहा है वो यू नो एंड आई एंड 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 देन यू लुक एट पाकिस्तान बॉलर्स एंड ऑल्दो लाइक शाहीन और नसीम ने एट लीस्ट आई थिंक नसीम स्पेशली वाज अनलकी थ्रू आउट द इनिंग्स शाहीन हैड गुड स्पेल्स एंड लैक लस्टर स्पेल्स लेकिन एक फिटनेस का फर्क था आज मुझे ये याद ये ये भी याद आया अबरार नहीं खेल रहा था आज अबरार की तबीयत खराब है वी होप हिज वेल हॉस्पिटल सुना है कि हॉस्पिटल जाना पड़ा एडमिट हो गया था फीवर वीवर था बट द लार्जर पॉइंट इन दैट स्टोरी वाज के अबरार पिछले तीन टेस्ट में तीसरा बोलर है पाकिस्तान का जो ड्यूरिंग द मैच अनबल हो गया है वेदर दैट्स इंजरी वेदर दैट्स इलनेस फॉर वट एवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एक दिन हुआ दो सेशन हुई है यू नो वेन यूर प्लेइंग एनी वे लाइक यूर स्ट्रेच विद योर रिसोर्स और आपका फिर उस टीम में से एक बोलर गिर जाता है और नहीं बोलिंग खुर्रम शहजाद ने पांच टेस्ट नहीं खेले होंगे अपनी करियर में मगर दो बार ऑलरेडी उसकी साइड की इंजरी हो चुकी है विच इज कॉज हम टू मिस इधर पार्ट ऑफ अ टेस्ट इधर टेस्ट मैच और वट एवर यू नो नाउ हिज मिस वी डोट नो इज गन वी बैक दिस बेसिक स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ फिटनेस की जो जो फर्क है ना पाकिस्तान की टीम में और इंग्लैंड की टीम में या किसी भी टॉप टीम में वो इस टेस्ट में सबसे क्लियर नजर आई जो जो इतनी बांग्लादेश में नहीं नजर आई थी वो इसमें नजर आई कि कितना फर्क है टीम की फिटनेस स्टैंडर्ड्स में एंड गिलेस्पी एंड अदर कोचेस गैरी कोस्टन आई थिंक दे आल्सो नोटिस दिस दे हैव सीन दिस एंड दे रियलाइज इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम आई जस्ट वांट टू से बट लाइक एंड आई वुड इफ यू डिसएग्री आई डोंट नो इफ यू डू बगैर क्या कहते हैं कि ये जो फिटनेस की बात कर रहे हैं एंड ऑब्वियसली अब यह हर बंदे पे अप्लाई नहीं करता है मगर एटलीस्ट आपकी कोर पे तो बहुत अरसे से अप्लाई करता है कि ये जब से पॉडकास्ट शुरू हुई है हम यही ढिंडोरा पीट रहे हैं कि दीज गाइस आर प्लेइंग टू मच क्रिकेट और ये कहा जाता है कि जी फ्रेंचाइज लीग ये वो नन ऑफ लाइक इसमें से ऑलमोस्ट नो बडी दैट कम्प्लेनिंग अबाउट इज प्लेइंग फ्रेंचाइज क्रिकेट देर प्लेइंग टू मच इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट के और वो मतलब कैटेस्ट्रॉफिकली डिजाइंड इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट जिसका मतलब आगाज एशिया कप के साथ और उसके सारे ड्रामों के साथ हुआ था या आपके पी एस एल के फ़ौर बाद काकुल में कैंप रखने की डिसीजन थी या फिर 
you know, again, there's a lot of talk in Kibay. People need to just get used to bowling longer spells, but you decided to organize a 50 over tournament before this test series. Just be nazariye se aap dekhen, like, I, you know, I don't necessarily, I feel some, it's not, maybe there is a also a cultural issue, but a lot of these guys were a lot fitter a while ago. And like, bohat saaron ke issues mein, you know, sub, I'm sure there's lots of exceptions, but for me, it can't be a coincidence that we're talking about ke fitness ke bohat saare issues hain after spending like, you know, a year talking about ke bhai, itni zyada cricket kyun khilai ja rahi hai unhi khiladiyon ko over and over again like some at some point that's going to catch up with you ha ha aur aur you know ye bhi hai ki aapki itni different regimes aa chuki hain aapke aapki academies nahi chal rahi hain to aapko agar fitness apni maintain bhi karni hai obviously player ko khud bhi thoda bahut hota hai but you need like that environment to be able to do that in harry brook ko kitni problem hui hogi apne aap ko एकदम अपनी फिटनेस टर्न अराउंड करने में बेन स्टोक्स को कितनी प्रॉब्लम हुई है अपनी जिंदगी में टू टर्न अराउंड हिज लेवल ऑफ फिटनेस ऑब्वियसली वो एक पूरा एक एनवायरमेंट है एंड यू नो आई डोंट पुट दिस ऑन दिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ये पिछले एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन से चलते हुए आ रहे हैं चलता हुआ आ रहा है इसी बट हम लोग खुद यार इस पॉडकास्ट पे कितना हमने कहा है बाबर के बारे में दैट हैज ही लाइक यू नो इज बाबर स्लाइटली लेस फिट देन ही यूज्ड टू बी द आंसर टू दैट आई थिंक इज अ प्रीटी ऑब्वियस यस ही मे पास फिटनेस टेस्ट एंड सब बट आई फील लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ दीस गाइस टीम में उनकी फिटनेस उस स्टैंडर्ड पे नहीं है एंड लाइक आई सेड लाइक आई नो इट्स अ मेन कंसर्न विद द कोचिंग साइड विद द कोचिंग सेटअप दैट दे वांट टू गेट दीस प्लेयर्स फिटर मगर ये ओवरनाइट नहीं होगा और आप जितना ये खेलेंगे ऐसे मैचेस खेलेंगे आप इन टीम्स के खिलाफ खेलेंगे उतनी ही आपकी ये एक्सपोज होगी ये यू नो लाइक इवन लाइक यू नो लेट इनिंग्स ड्रॉप कैचेस एंड स्टफ ऑल दैट इज काइंड ऑफ अ साइन के आप यू नो यू नॉट बीइंग एबल टू कंसंट्रेट यू नॉट यू नॉट काइंड ऑफ अलर्ट इनफ एंड स्टफ दीस आर ऑल signs of that kind of weariness that comes you know from playing like char din khelni hai thak gaye hai shahin afridi has played what six out of pakistan's last 13 test matches has played no first class matches besides because schedule doesn't allow it uh you know to where does he i just want to know and with with a academy system that is non functioning effectively wo apni fitness kahan karta does he only do it when he gets some time off and he comes to a camp or or how does he kind of maintain that intensity to be able to bowl your third your fourth spell in a long innings with the same intensity that you might bowl your first spell i mean khair ye uh bahut hi ek jo ek jo main pakistan ke test mein nazar aaya hai wo you know contrast aap dekhte hain opponent ke sath aur wo contrast sahi maano mein nazar aaya hai कितना क्रैम्प कर रहे थे जो रूट और हैरी ब्रुक थ्रू आउट देयर पार्टनरशिप कितना क्रैम्प उन्हें कितना आई मीन आई फील एट सम पॉइंट आई फील एट सम पॉइंट लाइक द इंस्टीट्यूशनल डिफरेंस जो इंग्लिश क्रिकेट और पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट में वो कहीं ना कहीं से तो वाजे होंगे राइट और जब आपके पास यू नो क्रिकेट इज फार मोर प्रोफेशनलाइज्ड सो एवरीवन इज प्लेइंग राउंड द ईयर एवरीवन इज नीडिंग टू अडॉप्ट टू डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट्स और यही बात आपने एटलीस्ट इंडियन क्रिकेट के बारे में हमें पता है कि हर हर बंदे के पास एक पूरी टीम है लेट अलोन टीम के साथ कितना बात कर रहे फास्ट बोलर्स की बात कर रहे थे लाइक द वर्क लोड फॉर फास्ट बोलर्स इन ऑल द टॉप टीम्स आर मैनेज लाइक मेटिकुलसली down to the number of balls that they will bowl on certain days you know so that so, kind of science is it there in this pakistan side 100% it's not i mean wo science to hai hi nahi but khair abhi to vital signs bhi nahi bache pakistan cricket ke acche nahi hai um and that's it i'm really not interested in discussing this uh, stupid test match any further nahi ab zara predict kare kal score kya hoga amar bhai nahi to main aakhri cheez chale agar aapne mujhe wo push kiya hai ki ye to match haar gaya pakistan I think the only thing that I would add is के पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट का यू नो जवाल या उसका डाउन टर्न प्रडिक करना इस पर काफ़ी आसान होता है क्योंकि वो इतने सारे इशूज़ एक साथ तबाह हो रहे होते हैं कि आप कहते हो कि यार यू नो ये तो ज़रूरी कुछ ना कुछ बुरा होगा बट आई फील इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू प्रोडिक्ट वन पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट टीम टर्न अराउंड और उसमें उस बात को समझने में आई थिंक जब मैन आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग ऑन क्रिकेट और फिर काफ़ी लोगों की नसीहतों की वजह से लाइक आई स्टार्टेड फॉलोइंग एंड ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड डेटा मोर एंड आई एम रियली ग्लैड दैट आई डिड दैट बट वंस पीपल दैट आई न्यू वर वर्किंग विद क्रिकेटर्स इन क्रिकेट टीम्स बिकेम वेरी ऑब्वियस के डेटा इज ऑब्वियसली सुपर इम्पॉर्टेंट बट 
matches very much are decided or can be decided sport is very much decided also by like you know a sense of belief right so like yes maybe you can't sustain it on just just by and belief and whatever but it's very necessary to translate your skills into action into action yeah. at that right moment to also be clear mentally or to be in that mental space where you're able to turn that on so pakistan me abhi bhi like i feel i was thinking about this today and i was just like i'm sure like i'm very sure another captain another coaching staff another regime could take the same squad against the same england team and produce definitely not such a one sided result like you know this is this is i think i don't know man you need horrible, to horrible horrible run of test yeah. huh i'm saying you 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 would need to change the pitches for a start also like that would be a major yeah, of course of course but like yeah. i think ye it is things are not maybe 823 bad in terms of the skill level but they're definitely 823 and worse in terms of just the jo halat hai pakistan cricket ke as an as a structure um and i think we've been saying that long enough but this is our q and a episode and um there's a whole bunch of people actually that i wanted to give a shout out as well pehli dafa jab humne patreon ka wo kiya tha we really thank saim salman and walid basim who been thank you saim has been a patron for forever now and so has uh, walid's been a very very long time uh, patron uske alawa ek aur shakhs jiska main naam nahi liya tha pichli dafa us par run from the start was sohail tiku uh, i hope i'm pronouncing this correctly and our very first patreon a uh, good friend of mine the jammal uh, aka tj who was the one who convinced me to like set up a podcast get in doing all of this so big shout out to all of uh, all of you guys and then our current uh, you know everyone else that who's been on the patreon uh, sharuk farhan isfanomics shayar khan zain mahmood sayed haider arij bashir abraham abhishek ali siddiqui Muhammad Ahmed Hassan, Arif Shah, Ahmed Bilal, Ahsan Raza Gardezi, Adnan. There's a lot of people whose name starts with A. I appreciate that. <laughs> Prasanjit Das Gupta, Burair, Burair, sorry, Burair Ashri, and Oms. Thank you so much for your support. Um, we've got a whole bunch of questions um, for this episode. Or Saim Salman, our long-term patron, so he should do that. And I think Osman, you can give us some good ones on this. first question he asks is what's the best sledge you've heard of that involves pakistan team or cricketer yeah pakistan cricket ke koi acche sledge nahi hote hain they even if someone i think has sledged a pakistani no that's what i'm saying ke nahi hote hain pakistan ke khilaf bhi acche nahi hote hain because wo phir sunne mein nahi aate like the the best sledge that i heard was the wo uh kisne कौन खेल रहा था यार कोई इंग्लिश प्लेयर था आई आई एम सो बैड टेलिंग दी स्टोरीज इट वाज अबाउट द वॉर ब्रदर्स बेसिकली आई थिंक वन ऑफ द आई थिंक मार्क वॉर टुक ही स्लेज जिमी ओरमंड हु वाज अ कोई इंग्लिश प्लेयर था जिसके खिलाफ मैं एक बार खेल चुका हूं एक्चुअली क्लब क्रिकेट में अमेजिंग उसे स्लेज करा कि तुम बहुत ही बेसिकली एक ऑर्डिनरी क्रिकेटर हो तो जिमी ओरमंड ने Jimmy Orman tha pata nahi kaun tha one of these guys basically they all the same he turned around to mark war and said but hey at least i'm the best cricketer in my family um pakistan ka tha mujhe koi yaad nahi aa raha hai sledge wo which i don't really like wo sledge tha ke sewag ne shoaib ko kuch bola tha ke tum bheek kyu mang rahe ho ye kuch aisi kuch bakwas ha ha wo keh raha tha ke pull karo pull karo aur keh raha hai bheek kyu mang rahe ho Yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, like yeah. it's not really a sledge, man. It's just like lame desi humor that doesn't work. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. I, like, I honestly can't think of any more. Ye team to sledge na karti hai na hone unke upar koi sledge hone like hai wo ki kuch challenge den ki unhe koi sledge kar de. They I, but genuinely they are like too friendly these guys. This this new team. Well, and, I will give one which is not a sledge, but definitely bada laga tha. के क्योंकि मैं उस वक्त काम भी कर रहा था इस्लामाबाद यूनाइटेड के लिए और कराची किंग्स एलिमिनेटेड दैम फ्रॉम द प्ले ऑफ्स एंड आफिर हैड बोल्ड रोमान रईस हु इट हैड अ स्पेक्टेकुलर टूर्नामेंट एंड देन व्हेन ही बोल्ड हिम ही लाइक उसकी उसने सेलिब्रेशन में मिक की थी जब वो खड़े होकर हाथ बांध लेता है एंड ही काइंड लाइक डिड इट लाइक दैट वाज दैट वाज प्रीटी कोल्ड आई फील आई हैव डेफिनेटली सीन 
क्या कहते हैं कि आमिर इन द मिडल ऑफ थिंग्स बट या लाइक आई आई डोंट नो एनी गुड स्टोरीज यार अगर आप दो सेकंड होल्ड कर सकते हैं तो मैं अपनी किताब लाऊंगा उसमें जावेद मेजाद ने डेनिस लेली को एक स्लाइड दिया था जब जावेद को कोई खास इंग्लिश भी नहीं आती थी प्लीज तो प्लीज ये वो किताब है जिसको आज तक आसिफ मुशतबा के साहिबजादे ने चार साल में खरीदने के बावजूद अभी तक पढ़ा रही है इट्स कॉल द अनक्वाइट वन हिस्ट्री ऑफ पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट विच If you're watching this episode, I'm 99% sure आपने at least इसके बारे में पता होगा if you don't uh, already own it. ये अगर आपसे पूछना नहीं है तो कौन है ये? Who is this? If it's not we'll asked, solve it's one mystery at a time, Usman. Also, okay. I'll just ask a follow-up question जो साइम ने किया है कि what's the most absurd superstition or ritual you've heard of a Pakistani cricketer doing? So if you can add that to your answer also. Yeah, ये कोई blasphemy मैं नहीं करना चाह रहा हूँ. Like, <laughs> we were straying into blasphemy, blasphemous territory. Ah, क्या बोला था? एक मिनट. पहले मैं ये ढूँढ लूँ और फिर मैं. Yar, I knew I wouldn't find it. Oh damn, what a crap book, yar. Um. Ah, अच्छा, हाँ. so it's not it's not even a sledge okay uh sydney test mein imran khan bowling kar raha tha famous sydney test 76 12 wicket li thi who bouncers mar raha tha uh to uh, bouncers de raha tha dennis lilly ko bowl kar raha tha i think aur umpire ne kaha ki dekho bahut zyada bouncer kar rahe ho i'm going to have to take you out of the attack to imran was like what rubbish mushtaq captain come and sort this out to mushtaq aaya mushtaq ne baat kari to mushtaq ne uh बात करी अंपायर को उसे लाइक ही काम दी अंपायर डाउन एंड सेट के अच्छा इमरान स्टॉप बोलिंग बाउंसर्स जोर से बोला था कि अंपायर ने भी सुना एंड देन ही वेंट अप टू इमरान क्वाइटली एंड सेट के गिव हिम अ कपल ऑफ फुल बॉल्स एंड देन थर्ड बॉल गेट हिम इन हिज ब्लीपिंग आईज तो यानी यू नो बाउंसर तो इमरान एनी वे डिसोबेड हिम Imran being Imran, he was like, "No, screw this. I'm just going to bowl." So he bowled him two more bouncers. The second bouncer, Lily, fell over. I say, "Ye Javed Nizad ki pehli tour thi, ha?" Huh? And at this time, Javed Nizad was this young guy who didn't really speak much English, or wo, uh, you know, itna young. Yeah, he was just a young guy trying to make you know a name for his for himself or whatever. But of course, cocky, and he used to stand at short leg and just sledge in Urdu. He, he was famous, like so he couldn't like you know he couldn't really speak speak English, but. Apparently, he, Imran bowled this bouncer, and you've just got to picture the scene, and you've got to imagine the scene in Javed Bhai's voice. Okay, it has to be in his voice because then it's not funny. So Imran hits him with a bouncer. Lily falls over, and <laughs> Mia Dad goes up. Lily stands over him, and he says, "Are you enjoying it yet?" Walks <laughs> off. <laughs> it. I mean, you have to just like you have to think of it in. I I couldn't mimic. Javed's accent or uh, his his peculiar his. इसको इसको actually इसको follow up यही है कि Javed and Lily had many confrontations और एक बहुत iconic तस्वीर है जिसमें there's a giant like Lily and Javed has his bat up like उसको सही मारने वाला है Lily पीछे हो रहा है और वो बड़ा बड़ी आइकॉनिक तस्वीर है वो जावेद भाई की खैर जो मुझे एक और स्लेज याद आया एक्चुअली जो ना ही सिर्फ सेंस ऑफ ओकेजन बट आल्सो जस्ट हाउ गुड इट इज एंड हाउ दिस एक्चुअली स्टेड अ स्टोरी फॉर लाइक ट्वेंटी इयर्स वेर बोथम एट सेट के पाकिस्तान एक ऐसी जगह है जहां आप अपनी मदर इन लॉ को भी नहीं भेजेंगे वो यू हैव टू टेल द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड आमिर सोहेल सेड फाइनल में जब बोथम आउट होता है वर्ल्ड कप 92 के फाइनल में तो आमिर सोहेल आई थिंक सेज टू हिम सेंड योर मदर इन लॉ नेक्स्ट या आई सेंड योर ब्लीपिंग एफिंग मदर इन लॉ नेक्स्ट एंड आई वंडर आई वंडर इफ आमिर सोहेल सेज इट विद द सेम पॉजेस दैट ही यूजेस इन हिज कॉमेंट्री सेंड सेंड योर नो सो एक्चुअली यू डोंट हैव टू वंडर बिकॉज़ देयर इज एक्चुअली अ क्लिप व्हेन बोथम इज वॉकिंग You can uh-huh. see Amir yelling something uh, in the <laughs> background. So, पूरा पिक नहीं होता है मगर यू कैन डेफिनेटली से दैट ही सेइंग समथिंग टू हिम जो आई थिंक द फैक्ट कि आमिर सोहेल ने इस बात को बचा के वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल के लिए रखा इज इज एब्सोल्युटली 
you would think he would be a master storyteller <laughs> given how beautifully he used this magar uske baad ye bhi tha ki jab 2005 mein england ki team wapas daura karne aayi thi pakistan so both him brought his mother in law along as well yes. and one of those tours he uh, came with his mother in law and, and that thing went for a while so in that lore i guess we'll have to add they, they, in term by the way they, the newspaper one newspaper even paid for her to visit pakistan like a year after he was supposed to have said it 84 85 and bola tha the next oh. year the daily mail i think sent his mother in law out on their expenses and she came back raving about the country saying oh it's beautiful the people were so lovely and the food was great <laughs> so like I don't know. Colonialism wins and loses there. I'm not sure. Like, I swear. अच्छा तो ritual में. I mean, एक तो Yunus Khan का बस मतलब वो जो basic किस्म का था कि you know वो अपने locker के around he was extremely territorial and he had things in a certain order or वो कोई भी छेड़ता था तो it was the basis of Yunus Khan's craziness. Yunus Khan की I think. zade ocd thi like as in he wanted to like you know everything had to be done on time in the right order in the right place which is why you know he became the great player that he is or superstition pakistaniyon ke i mean chote chote ko honge yaar just you know of of na yeah, wo like, dua wagaira aur which part you put on your leg which leg first ye sab to 100% pakka honge ke right leg pe hamesha pehle pad lagayenge left pe nahi lagayenge you know stuff like that will always be there um I I feel like Fawad Alam के बहुत सारे superstitions होंगे. <laughs> We just I know. <laughs> I yeah. I I do know one legendary Pakistani cricketer who definitely felt that uh, sex before a game helped <laughs> like calm and like release your stress. Only um, one. <laughs> I know of one. अब वो पता नहीं कितनों का opinion कितनों का है वो मैं नहीं कह सकता. मगर पता एक के बारे में. खैर प्रसन्न जी दास गुप्ता कहते हैं लव योर पॉडकास्ट टू क्वेश्चन वाई आर पाकिस्तानी क्रिकेटर्स वॉन्ट वोट आई नो हाउ प्रोनाउंस दिस वर्जन ऑफ वोट बट लाइक डोंट वॉन्ट टू ओपनली स्लैग ऑफ करंट एंड एक्स कॉलीग्स इन द मीडिया इन इंडिया रिपेयर टू बी मच मोर निज निज विंक विंक विद प्लॉजिबल डिनाइबिलिटी अनलेस योर योर राज सिंह डैड सो आई थिंक सॉरी ही सिंह वाई आर पाकिस्तानी सो कम्फर्टेबल विद स्लैगिंग ऑफ करंट एंड एक्स कॉलीग्स Oh, Whereas okay. in India, it's more nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and then secondly, oh. why would you prepare pitches that bowl your high-value pitches into the ground? Oswan, you can take both. So the first one, basically, the question is that Pakistani uh, ex-players, why do they get so many wickets? Ha, because in India, they do a little, you know, chup chup ke ya dabba ke karte. Yeah, one to India, I think, the players' status has gone up, and it's so much. which is good itni closed circuit wo team hai unka setup hai you know that they really keep that bubble going i think they have that consistency a captain and they keep that togetherness there taaki phir bahar se agar koi infiltrate karta hai na kuch bolta hai to then they all kind of look at him as as one ke ye kya bakwas kar raha hai and i i think wahan pe it affects your chances of getting a job in a way that it doesn't affect in pakistan hafiz hey. कल अगर तो उसे पता है कि आज उसे जॉब फिर भी मिल जाएगी बिकॉज कोई और चेयरमैन आएगा और उसे जॉब दे देगा यू नो एंड बिल्कुल आई थिंक बीसीसीआई ने भी एक तो जब खुद कमेंट्री करना शुरू कर कर दी यू नो दैट वाज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ काइंड ऑफ डिसाइडिंग यू क्रिक इन फॉर हैड अ लॉट ऑफ रन इन विद बीसीसीआई अराउंड दैट टाइम एंड आई फील द टर्निंग पॉइंट वाज व्हेन हर्षा भोगले हु सेज लाइक द यू नो हैज द the meatiest uh, least kind of caustic critique of all time oh. of indian cricket said something about ms dhoni who then uh like he subtweeted harsha and then like amitabh bachan joined or whatever and it really kind of was like ke bhai aap chu bhi nahi kar sakte indian cricketers ke khilaf uh, i feel that was a line that was kind of established at that point where you know even somebody as iconic and long standing as harsha was not immune mm. from you know being like pissing yeah, off the pakistan and... mein ek to you know team ka status hi alag hai thoda bahut like the team status halanki pehle bhi jab achhi team thi usko bhi board hi aadhe time ye leaks Haan. nikal raha hota hai ha aur 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 fir aapko pata hai ki I, i think the biggest factor is aapko pata hai ki aapki job opportunities ko affect nahi karta hai aap yes. kuch bhi kar le aap kisi na kisi din pcb mein aa jayenge you know 
however you need to you you'll get there so i i think that's one big reason why pakistan mein khul ke sab bolte hain uh ek to team aapki waisi nahi hai aur phir dusri baat hai ki aapko aapki i think india mein thoda sa hold back karte hain because they're always constantly thinking about whether they'll be ostracized by the bcci you know bcci ki is tarah ki control hai wahan ki aapko wo hata denge yahan se ya wahan se ya idhar se udhar se to kam wahan pe milte hain outspoken and also maybe it's just part of like the way the culture is over there and how they discuss cricket and how they kind of look at it differently to how maybe well, it's I become feel, more popular. i feel actually early 2000s mein india indian cricket huh? mein jo tox indian cricket media mein jo toxicity thi wo abhi bhi pakistani youtuber can't even reach it like match ka mujrim nothing in pakistan has Yeah. as has kind of equal that and the whole like to greg chapel or ganguly era tha jo unka split tha us zamane mein that was a like a very divisive and polarized time yeah i feel definitely since uske baad se they that yeah it's been clamped down but khair um, what was the other question the other question was ke why would you prepare pitches that are so basically horrible i feel the answer to that is in that ramiz raja episode we've done and multiple episodes since then so i'm assuming this is a rhetorical question um, yeah it's basically conservatism and also a degree of ineptitude or or just not being able to work with you know the conditions that you have it's it's that and innate conservatism within people who kind of make these decisions ohms ka sawal hai uh, usman for you uh, it's praises the podcast thank you very much unlike asim mustafa sana actually read the unquiet ones cover to cover real eye opener in terms of the early years of pakistan cricket example the role of justice tornelius etc did usman ever consider splitting the book into two volumes um what's you, and more importantly what's your next book going to be about oh god uh two volumes yeah there were many times during the writing of the book that i thought ke yaar ye ye ek alag main isme nahi dal raha hu magar kahin na kahin mujhe rakhna hai but then I think as I got towards the end of it, I kind of rationalized that you know it, it's my my biggest fear, my biggest not fear but worry always has been that it's a kisi din update karna padega because he doesn't stand still, right? And we've had at least like I, I I've covered this until the end of like 2014, 2015. उसके बाद से आप सोचें you know nearly दस साल हो गए हैं अब उसमें at least दो distinct era आ चुके हैं या तीन Right, jo aur aa chuke hain you know so like at some point to update and stuff but to also like kind of condense it into that's my biggest kind of uh worry with this and the next thing that i'm doing yeah i i've just started doing something i'm not sure where it's going um but i guess watch this space usman mai is question ka bada mai wait kar raha tha ki usman kya reveal karega kyunki usman ki next book bahut exciting hai but it's like but it depends on usman how much he's willing to commit to revealing it but i would encourage people to ask him it's fucking great and he's like if it comes out by khatam maybe you can tell them what it's not about tum jo soch rahe ho i think wo main nahi soch raha hu usse usse baatein move on ho gayi hain छह दिन पहले सवाल पूछा था हाउ डू यू सी पाकिस्तान चांसेस अगेंस्ट इंग्लैंड प्लेइंग साइड हाउ मच प्रेशर वुड शान बी अंडर वट यू गाइज थिंक हैज बिन द मेन रीजन फॉर द स्लम्प इन द टीम परफॉर्मेंस इन ऑल फॉर्मैट्स द टीम जस्ट कान गेट गोइंग आई थिंक लेट्स आंस दिस लार्जर क्वेश्चन वट डू यू थिंक इज द रीजन फॉर द स्लम्प Oh my God. मैंने यार कुछ दिन पहले आर्टिकल कर रहा था एक जिसमें आई बेसिकली काइंड ऑफ ब्लेम द पी सी बी डिसफंक्शन ऑफ द फील्ड फॉर एटलीस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम जो आपकी ऑन द फील्ड हो रही है वो आप हर डिसीजन जो ऑन द फील्ड आप देखते हैं वो एक्चुअली टेकन ऑफ द फील्ड सो वेदर दैट्स यू नो दीन कोचेज दैट देलेक्टर्स दैट फोर चेयरमैन दैट देड Uh, who've all come and gone in like a quick span of time whether it's the decisions that they've made and it's always been the sorry the head of the organization who has somehow centralized all power unto himself and made these bad decisions uh and with no with zero accountability 
uh, and you know things are being done to appease the chairman or the head of the management committee rather than actually things being done to like make pakistan cricket better or arrest the decline ye har har cheez mein hum log to you know on the field ki baat karte hain off the field hum log ne kabhi central contracts ki itni nahi baat kari hai jo usme jhamela chal raha hai humne broadcast rights ki kabhi nahi baat kari hai which you know it sounds boring and very administration kind of areas lekin these are things that affect your game like these these are things that trickle down into the game ultimately and affect everything that you see on the field so you know it, it's all these things i would not uh, i do sometimes when i rant and stuff or mujhe gussa aata hai zyada to main players ke upar bolta hu but my bottom line always is ke pakistan ke sath at least jo problems chal rahi hain aapka agar player ka crop bhi acha nahi hai abhi itna ya not as good as it has been in the past that is purely because of the off field decisions that successive administrations in pakistan cricket have taken yeah i would add to that ke um aapke paas jo ye bura waqt aa bhi raha hai aur wohi khiladiyon ki agar aap baat kare to more or less inning khiladiyon ke sath ek sort of golden era nahi to silver era keh dein kafi arse tak tha where you were consistently competing well in if you like if you go from like 17 to let's say 22 or 5 year spell so you have what like th- two finals or three finals and like yeah. uh, two finals one victory um doing well in tournaments you know even the 2019 one uh, really played like you know the mm. aapne yeah, the yeah. finals but for one era. loss so yeah so you had like a really good era aur wohi tha ke usme se jo masla ye tha ke a lot of that had to do the fact ke really good a uh, core of players came together at the same time magar wahan se administrative taur pe jin cheezon ko build up karna chahiye tha wo before the team hit its slump behind the scenes <laughs> there was like a lot of crazy stuff that was happening starting with the ending of the domestic system and going back to the old way and then the you know getting rid of the the chairman ceo wale the fark and the constitution and then this and that and that and like that actually in some ways the team you know up until aap kahenge sri lanka wale tour tak tab bhi you know looked like an on an upward trajectory aur jo asia cup mein obviously you know jo kuch bhi hua but at the end of the day a lot of the reasons for that was that pakistan ki bahut weak administration thi that was not able to protect its own players and then you end up in a really terrible situation aur uske baad se definitely jab aap slump ki baat kar rahe hain so so much of that is for me completely off the matlab you know ke i think jaise ke 2015 mein jab pakistan cricket ke bare mein sochta tha to i really worried ke bhai aap to wo cricket hi nahi khel rahe ho jo baaki duniya ke cricket khel rahe like you no one's playing any domestic uh, franchise leagues they're way behind the rest of the world mm. i don't think that even in test cricket right now like yes there's definitely amongst bowlers in particular it's a maybe a really really bad time i would say ke is one of the worst spells of pakistan cricket i've seen in in, in a very long time but i don't really think ke wo us tarike se aap duniya se piche fir at this point reh gaye hain but there's a lot of work actively being done to make sure that happens you know and and so yeah like i i think very simple ek main jaldi se cause and effect de de deta hu to illustrate this perfectly babar azam and abdullah shafiq although abdullah got a century in the first innings of this test match got out first ball in second innings babar has been on a poor run now for the last year or so very simple example agar unhe apni form ki baat karni hai if they want to try and improve their form who who do they go to in pakistan who is the coach i made this point in my piece who is the coach that they go to they've had like six or seven different batting coaches three or four different head coaches four or five different systems of management and coaching four different chairman who do they go to if they want to resolve the problems that they feel they are having with the games who are they even going to talk to if they if they always worry that ke yaar gillespie agar abhi nahi hai to abhi hai to phir parso shayad nahi ho is test series ke baad to main isse kyu apni baatein karu ye kya mujhe batayega meri batting ke bare mein kya dekhega ye isne kya dekha hai meri batting mein pehle se aur abhi se jo fark aaya so you know and those appointments are being made by the board so very simple cause effect board keeps changing coaches and and all, all these positions and the players keep suffering uh, because of it um 
Umang, Umang Jain, sorry. Umang Jain says that it's a very well-known fact in the IPO. A lot of players like Kohli, Bumrah and many more are paid a lot more money under the table than their retained price. Do you think something similar happens in the PSL as well? I, I think that in PSL, I mean, uh, uh, short answer, yes. Um, a lot of times, I think teams do it in terms of that you will be paid in the ad or you know, we'll pay you in kind or we'll get you this or we'll get you that. Uh, I think there have been various attempts at various times to crack down these things, but it's a lot of vague that you can entice players to entice them that you know, uh, stay with us or accept like a lot of times i think psl mein wo hota hai ki aapko agar lower category mein aana hota hai which which helps the team out and stay under its uh, salary cap and you well, know yeah. in return you the you try and make it up i think i think this is a pro- this is this happens in leagues all over the world especially any one of them which is trying to enforce a salary cap um aur usko kis tarike se legislate kiya jata hai aur kis cheez ko aap kehte hain ki yahan tak sahi hai aur ye galat hai is i guess a, a very kind of broad thing but yeah i think in some way or another it happens not just in the psl or ipl like just about anywhere uh where where not about anywhere but in a lot of places where you have salary cap bangladesh premier league it definitely happens so yes so. yeah i i feel ki ye, you 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 hear that about like most of the franchise leagues and um, you know particularly kyunki abhi tak jo larger system bhi hai is still a bit ad hoc ke you know you, you i i don't see it being eliminated anytime soon simply because you're trying to eliminate something that jo bahut zyada broad hai na ki kabhi kisi ko chahiye ki ha aap mujhe gaadi dila de aur kisi aur ko hai ki yaar aap mere bachche ka admission kara de and both of these are ways that that players can be enticed and um i think yeah anyways uh, then we have mohammed ahmed hasan who says three questions Touching on Mizbah in his era, one of the biggest missed opportunities been not getting the chance to see him take on India and in India or UAE in the Test series. How do you think Pakistan would have fared? Two, looking at the market for the game now on social media, could Imran have been an even bigger star than he was? Always felt like he just missed out on the game's real boom period. Three, do you see a scenario where Saudis straight try and pull a carry pack and go their own win cricket, outbid the ICC, buy out the sport? Great questions, I would say. um the first one miss was i i feel i really that was the one thing yeah. i really regret from 100%. that era. we never played india yeah that and, and that would have been you know because india us waqt were not the india they are now so it would have been more even i think and especially in the uae you know one of the in 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 matches may you know one of my biggest dreams was to watch like yunus and misbah take on ashwin and jadeja and and how they would have worked out and like i'm not saying who would have come out on top but it would have been fascinating to watch how somebody like yunus how somebody like misbah and then even later like guys like asad shafiq and all how they would have coped with you know this great kind of spinning pair of ashwin and jadeja pakistan ki bowling ajmal how they would have picked you know peak ajmal how they would have kind of picked his dusra they, they had a revolving cast of like fast bowlers at that time but all of them came and did something you know from imran khan junior to junaid khan to ehsan adil even like all these guys came and did something on those pitches so it would have been an absolute like epic great contest and it's just a a darn shame ke humne kabhi dekha nahi us waqt you know it really is a darn shame i i, I don't think i'd want to see it now because it would be a wipe out uh right yeah now. i mean I've, obviously agar aaj hoti hai to phir to kuch <laughs> kareeb bhi nahi hoga uske but exactly what you just said hai. हाँ कि उस वक्त इंडिया की टीम भी काफी फर्क थी और मुझे हाँ. तो ये था कि जब इन्होंने इंग्लैंड में टू टू किया था फिर तो मुझे लग रहा था कि वाह यार मिसबा की ये तो जो अप्रोच है कहीं भी चल सकती है ऑस्ट्रेलिया में दे डेफिनेटली प्लेड अ लॉट बेटर देन मेनी पाकिस्तानी टीम्स ऑलमोस्ट बट स्टिल डिजास्टर बट I think if we get that Indian team and that approach on UAE versus India, which again, like India, Indian pitches are similar enough to the UAE pitches, but also quite different. And so, you know, both teams go home in a way. I feel would have been very, very fun. I yeah. mean, it's just a huge, huge loss. Um, दूसरा सवाल था कि would Imran missed out on the on the boom period? Um, I think this is a bit of a chicken and egg situation because. that huge era for cricket never would have happened without him ran so yeah. you know like uh, kind of yes imran missed that kind of era when cricket explodes but it only happened because 
यस लाइक इट हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ हिम एंड देन ही लीड्स द टीम टू द वर्ल्ड कप सो वो without him like you never would have had in, in his time in in his time he he didn't miss out on the boom that was there that he was starting he you know he maximized his earnings it's it's a different thing that he was never which is you know one of the things that at least i admired about him was that he was never especially money minded wo he knew that he was already of, very rich, like not rich but aristocratic was, uh, from a life of you know considerable privilege compared to other cricketers who were coming up then lekin he still had to make a living right he had to yeah, make a living yeah. and then and then when he took on the shaukat khanum hospital thing that was like you know that was when he was like just pouring everything into that of course he married jamaima goldsmith which you know helps with these kind of matters sometimes but to his credit i always think that he was never like kerry packer we obviously paise to mil rahe the and and he stood up for his rights as a player in the 76 pay dispute which was again you know standing up for your rights as a professional player rather than ki mujhe itne paise chahiye uh kerry packer he took part in he always said and i kind of believe him that he wanted to improve his game he didn't think that county cricket was improving his game so much so he wanted to play with the best players in the world and improve his game you know and and the money of course it was great and the marketing deals and everything that was even better but in primary motive was that so i don't think he missed out on the boom that he himself kick started around the world as well as in pakistan i, I don't think he missed out ads mein aate the khan sahab bade bade ads mein aaye hain wo सिंध हॉल के एड में इंडिया में आते थे एड्स में पाकिस्तान में एड्स में आते थे तो यू नो इट्स नॉट लाइक ही लॉस्ट आउट ऑन 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 द अर्निंग्स ऑफ कोर्स नाउ इफ ही हैड एग्जिस्टेड ही स्टिल एग्जिस्ट्स नाउ बट इफ ही हैड एग्जिस्टेड एज एज अ क्रिकेटर हु नोस वी प्रोबेबली वुड हैव बर्नड हिम डाउन एंड लाइक बर्नड हिम इनटू द ग्राउंड एंड लाइक वुड हैव बीन अ मीडियम प्लेयर के 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 इमरान खान अगर अभी होते उस वो वाला इमरान खान जो जो क्रिकेटर था in social media just the level of scandal i don't think any oh, okay. anyone can survive that and also agar... yaar unki jo transformation thi khan sahab ki as a bowler wo to pehle hi action change pe log inhe nikal dete ye kya yaar bagwas bol raha hai action bhi change kar liya hai khatam hai yaar parchi inke mamu kaptan the inko le aaye parchi khair aur teesra tha about Saudis carry or uh, Saudis doing to cricket what they have done to golf essentially. Yeah, um, my take on this. Somebody spoke to me the other day about this. I, I was I was I speaking to you? No, I was speaking to somebody else about this. They made a really good point. They're like, yeah, Saudis are na in, and I'm not like being racist or anything, but Saudis are like into white sports, like where they're dishing the cash out is white sports like golf and tennis and. Kind of football. Yeah, this isn't this is isn't racist. Third world this subcontinent the, for them. This is the point of sports washing, right? Okay, why would you spend billions of dollars on getting Pakistanis to like you more? You've already spent that money. <laughs> You've already but seen Indian. those. I mean, Indians more than Pakistanis. Yeah, and but look, okay, again, you know, okay, there's a lot of easier ways to deal with whatever yeah. you want from India than to buy cricket. Like sports washing, is really because they, okay, you know. उस उन एरियाज में दे आर दे आर एक्सेप्टेड एंड दे आर कल्चरली एक्सेप्टेड इन अ वे दैट दे यू नो साउथ इज वांटेड टू बाय द न्यूयॉर्क पोर्ट और समथिंग और सम वन सम अरब प्लेस वांटेड टू एंड दे वांट अलाउड टू एंड दिस एंड दैट सो इट्स लाइक चेंजिंग दोस माइंड्स सो आई सो आई एग्री या लाइक आई फील पीपल पर्टिकुलरली देयर इज अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस और अ फ्यू कमेंट्स इन इन दिस सेक्शन दैट आर अपसेट विद लाइक द बिग 3 डोमिनेशन एंड हाउ द आईसीसी इज टूथलेस एंड आई थिंक उस सेंस में द साउदीज ऑफर दिस लाइक रेडिकल चेंज के चल ये आ गए और अब ये मार्केट हो जाएगी बट आई या आई आल्सो फील दिस इज अ पाइप ड्रीम बाबर अशरफ पूछते हैं सो क्वेश्चन दैट आई ही गोज इनटू ग्रेट डिटेल ही सेज कैन यू गिव सम इनसाइट इनटू बाबर द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ द फील्ड स्टोरीज यू हर्ड द ईगो हिज विजन सेल्फिशनेस Sometimes I try to pave myself in people's position, and he has to know on some level whether the captaincy taken away from him in the World Cup should be fashion or not. That when he took it back from Shaheen, then it wasn't going to play well in the dressing room, right? Like I don't get how he justifies in his own head unless he felt it was still his cap- captaincy despite Shaheen taking it, which speaks to his ego and self over team. Flip side of this is this is career. He doesn't owe the PCB a damn thing. They're all incompetent. It's a revolving door. Maybe he had no faith in PCB. and didn't want to have people have no clue dictate the art of his career but it's definitely sad to think we are where we are now after the whole nawaz you're still my match winner video where he clearly had complete buy in from the guys in the team feels like he ever won't get it back to the point where he resigned for a second time 
um so essentially I mean, babar has beautifully asked and answered the question of babar so, so you know there is this has... story i've kept for almost for a decade now aur maine i think you and i discussed like i discussed writing it out as a as a long form and then um uh, i moved out of lahore and i never went back to it so i'll share it mm. today uh, i really uh, find it very interesting or with the caveats i have not b- beyond being told this story i have not done any further research so if if anything is wrong i apologize i'll try and tell the story as i was told it to ye tha ke zimbabwe ki team pakistan aayi thi 6 saal ke baad international cricket was returning to pakistan so uh, usman and all had commissioned a bunch of pieces and i was asked to write like i i don't you were in the you back in cricket for that time right i, uh, I was with the the cricket mantri tcm ah, yeah so, yeah so so we'll tha ke us waqt i to write like a sort of state of lahore on the night of the match kind of piece and i i got in a cab and i went to different parts of lahore um aur logon se baat baat ki jahan tickets bik rahe the ye tha wo tha the pieces obviously up on cricket info and at some point i met this man a model town mein uh, kya kehte hain jo baag hain unme bahut sari jagahon pe nets lage hain aur cricket clubs hain and, and quite a few big names have emerged from there um to udhar i was like i have to go to model town and i was trying to find like a club i saw this one club called i think their name was yu lin they had some other name as well but it was like some chinese name or something and there was a silver haired man uh kya uh, kehte maybe in his 30s or maybe early 40s or something or wo owner bhi the and he was in the nets and he had really good form and he had apparently been uh played cricket at some kind of level and he was from um a very very wealthy family uh that that had this very large business or uh, us club mein Babar Azam had that was Babar Azam's club and he had been playing there since he was like a kid and at this point Babar Azam had broken into the international team also obviously nowhere near the player mm. that he is today ye bilkul bilkul uske uske career ke aagaaz ki baat hai aur us waqt meri insaaf se baat ho rahi thi and i, I he is mentioned in 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 that article and linked to it but he told me the story about Babar Azam's father which i found fascinating he was basically like a Babar Azam's father एसेंशली कोई एक नौकरी नहीं करते थे और वो उनको ये साहब जानते थे कि या उनको इसके बारे में पता था कि वो एक नजूमी टाइप थे कि आपने बुला लिया वो आपका हाथ उन्होंने पढ़ लिया और आपने थोड़ा उनको पैसे वैसे दे दिए एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक ही एट लाइक अ शॉप और लाइक अ नाइन टू फाइव लाइक इट्स जस्ट लाइक उस्मान ने अपना हाथ पढ़वा दिया तो देन उस्मान कॉल जैमर के आर यू नो वाई डोंट यू गिव दिस गाय ट्राई एंड देन ही कम्स इन जॉब सो ही डेंट रिली हैव एनी फिक्स जॉब बट एट सम एंड ही लाहौर में एक जगह है फिर दॉस मार्केट रेडी काइंड ऑफ कंजेस्टेड एरिया उसमें अपेरेंटली बाबर आजम डैड एंड बाबर आजम सिबलिंग आई थिंक सेवन एट ऑफ दैम एंड देन उनके चचा और उनके भी बच्चे ये सब रहते थे एक ही द शेयर्ड वन रूम अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टोरी आई वोल्ड और वन स्मॉल एरिया एंड इन्हीं के इनके एक और भाई थे हुज किड्स वर or they were related to the akmals of course and and the when kamran made it into the team so uh, babar azam's dad noticed how it completely changed the fortunes of that family and you know suddenly they had a car and they had money and they had this and they had that and uh, like i've heard this from other sources ke you know they didn't treat babar's family very well mm. they they kind of were like you know screw off So Babar Azam's dad is like, okay, shit, this is the way forward. So he buys a hardball, uh, and and he comes home, or usne apne chote beto ko ya do bete, whatever he tries with a couple of sons, and Babar at this point is like literally four or five years old, and so he actually starts playing hardball from the get go, which almost never happens in Pakistan, and um and then kya kehte hain according to this man um. Babar once he was like 7 8 years old his dad would put him on the front of his cycle and take him to these grounds at uh, model town aur phir wahan logon se kehte the ki mere bete ko chance de mere bete ko khilaye mere bete ko khilaye aur essentially in sahab ke paas aise hi wo aaya and he starts like kind of uh, babar joins their club and what becomes very apparent is that because also babar was very aware that his dad has brought him out all the way here and he needs to make the most of it 
he became really good at batting really long wo kehte babar ko bas wo wapas hi nahi aata tha wo khelta rehta tha khelta rehta tha aur in ye jo um inka na naam exactly aati hai so i don't want to get it wrong uh, but he, he was telling me was that humne bada focus kiya ke ji iski टेक्निक ऐसी हो ये हो बट जो नेचुरली उसके बारे में था कि यू नो ही वॉज वेरी अपराइट वैन ही वॉज प्लेइंग द बॉल विच जनरली सब कॉन्टिनेंटल बैटर्स डोंट टेन टू बी एंड दैट दैट वॉज मेकिंग हिज शॉट्स वेरी गुड एट्सेट्रा एंड दिस वी हैविंग दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड बाबर ऑब्वियसली इज मेड टू द इंटरनेशनल टीम एंड दैट इन इट सेल्फ इज अज अचीवमेंट मगर दिस इज नथिंग टू वॉट बाबर वुड बिकम लाइक Five, six, eight years from then, you know, and I think in PSL two, me, I have seen that when in the morning we were playing, then the Akmals, Kami, Umar, their father, and Babar would often sit together. So whatever tension that I had been told off was not there in front of my own eyes, at least. Um, and, and again, I don't know what any of this means. I haven't spoken to any of these people on the record about it. But to me, that was such an incredible story of. ए क्रिकेट खुद क्या चीज है पाकिस्तानी सोसाइटी में कहा से कहा लोगों को पहुंचा देती है और दूसरा के मतलब यू नो नॉट जस्ट बाबर ऑब्वियसली ऐसी कहानियां आपके बहुत ऑलमोस्ट सारे खिलाड़ियों की ही है बट अगेन इट रियली स्पीक्स टू द काइंड ऑफ यू नो यूनिक जर्नी दैट यू टेक एंड आई थिंक फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस इतने ज्यादा चेंजेस के साथ लाइक यू नो इफ यू बिकम पैरोनॉइड यू बिकम लाइक अ बिट you know if you're not trusting people or you feel that there's like some conspiracy or whatever unfortunately it is quite natural because that's what you've experienced a lot throughout your whole rise and like you know so much of your rise has to be complete dogged determination and absolute mm. belief against the odds you know kyunki ye ye sab cliche to hai ki bhai uske baap yahan le gaya wahan le gaya ye kya wo kya you'll maybe hear a tiger word story or serena williams story and feel that you're hearing a similar story except the big difference is ke is society mein you know there's there is like ye ek akela like one one in a million chance hai to make this journey otherwise there's no other way that you can make this journey you know and and it is such a small chance like there's very there's only one sport and only like 11 players making to the national mm-hmm. side so so yeah so i feel you can take away whatever you want to from this uh, story but i've wanted to share it for a very long time and now i have i i i i don't really have much to add like mm-hmm. i think that's that's a nice story and babar ke bare mein you know kami log bahut kuch jante hain he's i think a fairly kind of keeps himself to himself kind of personality but obviously i think bahar se jo hum log dekhte hain lag, lagta hai at least ke थोड़ा सा उस पर इम्पैक्ट हुआ है द होल यू नो कैप्टनसी थिंग मूविंग फ्रॉम द कैप्टनसी हिज ओन फोन मस्ट बी प्लेइंग ऑन हिज माइंड राइट नाउ मगर हमेशा से काफी वो एक रिजर्व सांसेल्फ कैरेक्टर एटलीस्ट मुझे लगा है इज नॉट स्पेशली आर्टिकुलेट अबाउट हिज गेम और अबाउट लाइक यू नो वट काइंड ऑफ क्रिकेट जनरली और लाइक काइंड ऑफ यू टॉक अबाउट द गेम स्ट्रैटेजी और वेवर इज नॉट स्पेशली आर्टिकुलेट but that doesn't mean that he doesn't think as hard about the game and obviously he just he's not be able to express it as well um yeah that's pretty much it like i you know i'm sure he's a fascinating character magar wo aapko immediately aapko lagta nahi hai like you do it doesn't strike you as one you know if you ask me ke who would be the most compelling character in the pakistan team right now i i would not think immediately of babar i think also what what i find interesting in the years that i've known this story is ke इफ आपके ये आपकी बैकग्राउंड है और आपका फर्स्ट कजन उमर अकमल है और उसके बावजूद इफ यू सो बोरिंग आई लाइक एंड आई फील दैट समथिंग यू हेयर लॉर्ड अबाउट बाबर के वो क्रिकेट के अलावा उसका ऑलमोस्ट कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं है दैट आई थिंक इन इट सेल्फ इज समथिंग डेफिनेटली वेरी इंट्रीगिंग बट येस इज इट सुपर कंपेलिंग कम्पेयर टू लाइक सब वन लाइक नसीम और सब वन नॉट सो मच बट एनी वेज मूविंग ऑन केशव आस Would India have played the same way to force a result against Bangladesh in two days if WTC points weren't at stake? And also, how much influence realistically Bas Ball must have had in that approach? Duck it, jokes aside. I would have no India idea. have not hit their same. Uh, Keshav is asking. Ah, what? 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 What?
also i i feel like uh, under rohit's captaincy they are much more open to playing in that kind of style and way and you know dravid ki jo coaching thi over the last few years and and rohit himself the changes that he's undergone in his game um and plus also you should never forget having the personnel for it you know if you have uh, jaiswal jaise player aapke paas agar ho rishabh pant jaise player aapke paas ho uh, you know then you are obviously going to be more kind of prone to playing like that so uh, it's kind of a moot point but uh, i feel like agar wtc points nahi hote rohit might have done it anyway i think he's the kind of captain who would say ke nahi yaar ye hame jeetna hai you know and we want to kind of play like this or nahi agar karenge to kuch pata nahi chalega so i think they would have done it um anyway but well i think ke definitely uk ek wo uh, ek, ek, ek expectation to hai ke india ki team ko jeetna chahiye aur i feel unka kuch aisa hi tha ke they have to maximize certain number of uh, wins wagaira to ensure so i i'm not surprised if that's a factor but main ek cheez i had i said this on another podcast and i feel we can do this in detail once we are dissecting england wali series magar mujhe ek baat ye bahut arse se feel ho rahi hai इसके दो पहलू हैं सबसे पहले मिसबा जब कप्तान था सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक ओवर अ डेकेड अगो उस वक्त से ही वन ऑफ द रीजन ही वॉज सक्सेसफुल विद ऑफन प्लेयर्स हु लाइक स्पेशली बोलर्स हु वॉन्ट लाइक दैट स्केरी और वट एवर इज बिकॉज दे वुड बोल ड्राई फॉर आवर्स ऑन एंड एंड ड्राई बॉलिंग का वही मतलब कि आप फोर्स टर्म के बाहर रख रहे हैं इट्स नॉट वाइड एनफ टू लाइक हिट वेरी इजिली बट इट्स नॉट यू नो ऑल्सो समथिंग दट गुड इन गेट यू आउट इज नॉट हिट इन द स्टम्प यू कैन लीव इट बी और मेंटालिटी उस वक्त यही थी कि टेस्ट क्रिकेट में उस वक्त से ही आपके पास विद द एडवेंट ऑफ टी ट्वेंटी विद बिन अराउंड फॉर वाइल ऑलरेडी ये हो रहा था कि मोर एंड मोर प्लेयर्स और मेकिंग इनटू टेस्ट क्रिकेट हु डिड नॉट हैव दैट पेशेंस टू जस्ट प्ले आउट लाइक थर्टी ओवर्स ऑफ यू नो नॉट मेकिंग अलॉट ऑफ रन एंड दैट वॉज समथिंग दैट वर एबल टू पिक ऑन विद लाइक यू नो स्पेशली द इंग्लैंड टीम बैक इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो वॉज रिपीटेडली कॉट like by just boring them out and forcing them to play a stroke um even if you go further back 2005 ashes maybe you know they they kaha ke chap outlet shots ko band karna shuru kar de at fx cricketers but fast forward to now there's so many teams who are playing batters who are not who are, who are not the type who can bat you like you know play like a 200 ball 50 they and they out maybe they can do it once maybe they can do it twice but more often than not they the guys who can hit an 80 ball 100 and that's why whether you look at this english team less so this indian team but even this indian team like ek tarike se hum ye baseball wagaira ko we keep seeing it as a proactive thing ke actually they'd much rather play it this way but they're forcing themselves to go at a higher rate i feel the kind of personnel protect particularly the big 3 has a lot of sides have had for a while a lot of times it makes sense to go at a higher rate because everyone is more comfortable batting that way than they are इंग्लैंड तो शुरू से खुल के कह रहा है कि यू नो हमारे पास यही प्लेयर थे तो हम इसी तरह से खेलेंगे बिकॉज हमारे पास जो रूट जैसे प्लेयर नहीं है जो तीन दिन बैठ करके यू नो डेढ़ सौ भी बना सकते हैं रोहित इज अ ग्रेट बैटर बट ही इज नॉट अ ड्राव ही इज नॉट समी कैन लाइक बैट आउट नाइनटी ओवर इन अ डे तो यू नो उसकी कप्तानी में अगर इंडिया इस तरीके से खेल रही है a lot of that has to do because that's probably rohit's best way to approach a test match anyways agar rohit kaptan na bhi ho you know he's not been the most solid test batter and he's usually his best when he's just playing his shots to you know i feel ki test cricket mein ab ye zyada dikhai dega kyunki you you just don't have a lot of players who can who can play the traditional way of test cricket or usko it's definitely great if you're getting results but i do feel you know the kind of um tactical genius that it's seen as it's more like an acceptance ke bhai aur kuch nahi ho raha to ye try karte hain rather than hey why don't we think out of the box and do this which is the hill i want to die on anyways arif shah is asked did it ever cross your mind that shoaib akhtar might get offended by seeing his silhouette on your podcast title uh, do you think shoaib i but what do you think you i don't think he recognizes it <laughs> i don't th- i think he might not recognize it initially honestly उटलीफाइनल 
it'll make so much more money than the current test championship am i missing something completely obvious as to why the icc won't do that i mean i see how many countries over bilateral cricket icc has no control or jo league aapki hai world test championship wo essentially it is bilateral cricket dressed up as a league so it's not a real league uh uski you know uh, they are decided uske jo matches hain they're decided by each board depending on unke broadcasters ke liye kya sabse attractive content hoga to so, india ke liye sabse attractive content in india ke broadcasters ke liye sabse attractive hoga ki wo panch test australia se khele ghar pe और फिर पास टेस्ट इंग्लैंड से भी खेले और और टीमों से कम खेले पॉलिटिकली पाकिस्तान से खेले ही ना यू नो सो इट्स नॉट रियली अट्स नॉट रियली लाइक यूनिफॉर्म लीग ऑफ एनी काइंड इसमें यू नो पॉइंट सिस्टम काइंड ऑफ शोज वाई इट्स नॉट दैट एंड फैक्ट दैट दी सी सी uh the question about the icc why they just don't do it is because it's not up to the icc to decide icc are basically um there's a members club so you know it when you when we say the icc we're talking about actually all the full members jo boards hain unhe decide karna hai ye aur unke paas ye plan ek bar bahut saal pehle ek consultancy firm ne ha <laughs> एक ये ऐसा कुछ प्लान दिया था जिसमें आपके आपकी एक टेस्ट लीग भी थी उसमें ओडीआई लीग भी थी और टी ट्वेंटी लीग भी थी एक चार साल के साइकिल में और उसमें एक उन लोग ने सेंट्रलाइज रेवेन्यू शेयरिंग पूल ऑफ मनी रेवेन्यू पूल भी उन्होंने फॉरवर्ड करा था एक बहुत काफी डिटेल प्लान था बाय द वे दो में प्रेजेंट हुआ था आईसीसी को एंड आईसीसी मेंबर्स नॉट द आई मैनेजमेंट ICC के मेंबर्स ने आउट ऑफ हैंड डिसमिस कर दिया आई बिलीव दे माइट नॉट इवन सीन आउट द फुल प्रेजेंटेशन बिफोर द डिसमिस तो इट्स अ फैंटेसी इट्स नेवर गोना हैपन एज लॉन्ग एज क्रिकेट इज रन बाय द बोर्ड्स द वे इट इज आई फील द रीजन दो दैट इट एट लीस्ट बिकम्स टेंप्टिंग अम इज के अगर आप टेस्ट स्टेटस से नीचे वाली क्रिकेट देखें It's actually super exciting, and it is organized in this league format with promotions and demotions. And if you really kind of delve into that world, like वहाँ पे जितनी मतलब passion और मेहनत के साथ लोग खेल रहे हैं, and there's actually so much at stake as well in every. मगर वो वो world cricket league को तो खत्म हो गई है. Four day matches खत्म करने वाले ना वो इस इस आखिरी cycle है. मतलब भी the still the cycle is ongoing. Are you talking about the four day matches? No, I'm talking about oh, the limited yeah, overs. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, huh. Yeah, because the World Cup ki qualifications and all that stuff get feed in. So, in that, actually, matches ki badi ek relevance rehti hai. And then, you know, like hmm. you've got obviously really diverse nations that are kind of playing. But in that, then, I get that feeling that, yeah, this is the thing you can do with test sides. Ke bhi kar de. There's so much potential for that, and because. obviously agar you know if i was not if i hadn't seen this at the lower levels i would have been more more kind of skeptical about this happening because as usman's pointed out like there is no um, way in hell <laughs> this is going to happen um walid similar and bunch of you have asked similar questions i was going to read these out could we possibly dream a future where there's some balance between cricket boards or is just going to be bcci dictating the game i think there's no real answer to that arif shah is saying i'm 43 I can't help but think that between Asia Cup to now, and he wrote this before this current Test match. This is one of the worst phases in Pakistan cricket history. I can think of odd poor results like early World Cup exits, Test series losses against Zimbabwe in '95, losing to India in '1979. Okay, Alif, but nothing like a 12-match stretch of poor results. Like this. See, Sal Boye will be. Right, like. Uh, Or maybe if he's forty three in twenty twenty four, that means he was born in eighty one. So yeah, <laughs> Arif yeah. was really stretched deep for this. But Arif, my, 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 just only this is for you. Wish you that your next forty three years, inshallah, or happy or or you know, better in the sense that your next forty three years will be in a good style. And you in इस पीरियड पे या पुरानी डिफीट्स पे आप इतना ना फोकस करें परेशान रहें बेशक बेशक 
Okay, I'm just going to run through if there's... Abraham Abhishek had asked, which he also said we've responded this on YouTube. He's asking about labor contracts uh, which, and, and how that works mm-hmm. out for players. Um, I think... Okay, I'll end this with... Uh, Saim Salman had another question. It's a good one. What are your favorite non-Pakistani cricket moments? Oh, uh... I, I can go first because I have one. Yeah, go first. I was obsessed with COVID at that time. I was thinking that I should write a book or how I can write a book or whatever. It's so good. It's basically Brian Lara single-handedly defeating Australia. Yeah, in, I was thinking of just the same actually. Man, like, and West Indies, you can get a lot of fun stories in West Indies. Like, West Indies and Sri Lanka, for me, always my, my favorite no. teams. But this story, man, of, like, where Lara was, how he plays that match. And thankfully, it's been a lot of people who have written something good on Cricket Monthly. Pe, dhabardast, aise. Um, there's a lot in there. And yet, you know, matlab, I, I spoke to um, someone, uh, so I didn't have a podcast, so we just recorded it. It was a uh, Caribbean cricket podcast karte hai, um, mm-hmm. to talk about this because, you know, Lara himself had to like step down as captain. He was in like, he was called the prince, but he was really hated at that point. Australia were these just the pantomime villain level pe wo manhus ke khel rete. their <laughs> evil empire was about to start. So like in hindsight, this is such like, you know, one kind of lone soldier taking on the the the, the imperial horde, so to speak. Uh, kya, <laughs> but like, yeah, I, I feel yeah. the crazy thing is I also didn't even see this live because of like where this no. time pe aara tha ye tha, wo tha. but over the years I've seen that the highlights, anything about it, red, whatever, like I just it's one of my favorite sporting moments, not just cricket. Lara ki kitab is Sal Ikor, his second installment, the Eklara Nikitawa B Likia, which is he's divided his career up into rivalries. So Ek Usne Kitab Likia of his record in and versus England, his experience of English cricket. Uh Ek wo uh, I think Shuro Newalia will kiga on his rivalry with Australia. So that will hopefully have like him talking about those innings, um, those great innings. Merile, yeah, ek to Lara was 100%. Anything Lara did, I would watch. Uh, Sevag, watching Sevag was always a favorite cricket moment, not just against Pakistan. I would watch him against other sides as well. I think about 200 or 200 Sri Lanka ke and in a match in which nobody scored at like more than 50 strike rate or even scored more than 50, and he went at like, you know, 100 strike rate for a double 100. Crazy, crazy guy to watch. Uh, as, a, as a series, I think those are Panch Wali Jo Ashes thi was was yeah. one series I happened to watch every so single good. ball of that series. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know my kya my kaam bhi kar raha hunga. Like, like I just remember watching that series every single ball. I remember like commentary bits from that series. You know, it was that epic a series. So that probably I would say like hands down is one of my greatest kind of uh cricket memories is just watching that series. I don't think there's been much to like match it since. Ek do matches hain, jo, jo mujhe bahut maza hai, jase, obviously I watched the final, I covered the World Cup final 2019 ka. I saw the 2019 Headingley Ben Stokes wala test usi saal. These are all great moments, but I think as a, as a package, yeah, definitely that 2005 Ashes series is, is up there with like all time great memories. I think I've spoken about this before as well, but the uh, the World T20 that West Indies won in India, one mm. of my favorite tournaments of all time, where you had yeah. Virat yeah. was in sublime form and then he gets yeah. blown away by West Indies, who then, I feel that that final over that Bra- Bra- Bratwood faced against Stokes is like about the time best time. final overs I've seen in my life. Yeah. I had so much fun watching that. And the really, art of I, the years afterwards... Stokes, yeah. kahan chala gaya, Brad's weight kind of has not been a failure, but has never hit, you know. Has really I mean, you can't, right? Back. Like, it's kind of like that Alexander the Great problem, ke, your or- Orson Welles or something. Ke, like, your introduction is just so iconic that nothing yeah. will ever match it. I remember the uh, name, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uske ilava, main bowling, mein agar koi matlab, you know, I always, okay, liked watching certain bowlers or whatever, but I'm trying to think of like a performance. Um, Mm. And uh, Dane, 
stain nagpur stain India. definitely like is the name in my mind but I'm, like yeah. maybe that uh, the you know the australia ko haraya tha test match uh, yeah yeah in, in, that in whole Bangladesh. match was pretty great yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they had actually australia and south africa had a great rivalry at that time stain watching him bowl always alan donald watching him bowl i used to love watching alan donald bowl i watched uh, in our lums dorm room um australia and gibbs chased down 438 घुस गया था एक उसको देखने के लिए all time <sighs> to get bold the next ball also great sledge uh the one with words is, of course involves me adad is merv hughes was bowling to him uh adelaide test 91 ki series the merv hughes bus was bowling conductor. to ha huh, he called him a fat bus conductor aur phir jab hughes ne out kara to he ran past him saying tickets please um great to and fro sledging <laughs> then you, abdul kader apparently ha huh, की वो वाली भी जो है जो आई थिंक इंडियन टीवी पे बताइए कि वो कहते हैं तेरा रूम नंबर क्या है तेरा रूम नंबर क्या है दिलीप दोषी के खिलाफ वो भी इसमें दिलीप दोषी के खिलाफ होटल नंबर बताओ वहां से फिर बॉल मारूंगा मैं व्हिच अगेन इज दिस लाइक अ वेरी देसी काइंड ऑफ बस दैट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट स्लैजेस आई आई हैव टू से लाइक के रूम नंबर बिकॉज़ इट्स अ सेटअप राइट सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट के लाइक अवे फक यू और व्हाटएवर इज दिस लाइक इट्स अ सेटअप सो यू फाइनली हैव टू आंसर इज लाइक वहां से जाके बॉल लेके आओ But I mean, like the punchline is just like, hey, oh man. Anyway, yeah. Like, I, I guess if anyone is allowed to say it, it's me, Azad, for the legend that <laughs> this, he was. This. Uh. Okay. Do you have any more? I feel the final no, one. I'll... Final one, extremely I'm... tongue-in-cheek, is what Ahmed Shahzad said to Dilshan. Hey, <laughs> fine. Hey, <laughs> fine. That that is an apt. kind of uh, i yeah after. i don't know what that qualifies as but that's a story is definitely a story uh, the best the best non verbal sledge done to pakistani i think was sangakara when he fake ran out ms azad remember when he makes him dive <laughs> that was like oh man <laughs> sangakara i think is the all time greatest sledger cricket has ever seen because usne subcontinent ka to definitely आई थिंक क्रिकेट का क्योंकि उसने जो जैसे साउथ अफ्रीका के लिए वो फुल डेटा वेटा के साथ उन्हें स्लेच कर रहा था जैसे इंडिया शिंडिया के साथ करता था ही वाज इनक्रेडिबल एनीवेज सो दैट दैट्स द वेरी लॉन्ग एपिसोड क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली आठ सौ तेईस रन थे आठ सौ तेईस मिनट सेकेंड शायद हमने गुजारे या नहीं आई होप वी डे but um thank you so much for watching thank you so much once again for our patrons for supporting us and hopefully next month when we do this we'll have something more exciting uh both in terms oh. of content as well as uh, stuff to offer you guys and to everybody else you can join our patreon page uh, the link to it on our youtube as well and otherwise uh, keep watching the show till then take care for the office thank you very much everyone Do not-